this is Rosa Kelly welcome back to my channel and to a new vlog so I decided to do a weekend vlog um, because I want to do nothing but crafting this weekend and I just wanted to bring you guys along um, today I'm working on getting my blank album orders ship so the first batch is ready I'll put a little clip here because they just look so beautiful and I woke up super early today and I was working on like the second batch um, but but I needed to get the first batch basically shipped and it has been a back and forth struggle because I went to my post office and I didn't have any boxes um, the other day so then I had to go to a different post office yesterday so I have the boxes I printed the labels last night and this morning I was just gonna wrap and um, go drop them off at the post office but I ran out of bubble wrap so I used this really pretty pink bubble wrap that I found at Home Depot so I decided to go to Home Depot and just pick up more instead of like you know getting the one from Target <laughs> that is like right here today also i have a live class which i have been looking forward to so i'm excited that's gonna be later on today at 4 p.m so yeah so i hope that you guys enjoy the vlog and let's get to it <laughs> slightly disappointed because they did not have the pink bubble wrap so I ended up just getting like the good old boring one that I could have got at a Target <laughs> but anyway I like the pink wrap number one because it's pink but also it is thicker like the bubbles are a lot more cushiony so that's why I like that one as well but anyway this will do for now hopefully they'll bring it back because the pink is just also so cute so some of you <laughs> might get the pink and the rest is just gonna get this one uh, but anyway I could not help myself and I look at a few little flowers it's hard to buy flowers because I have you know the pets and the cats there's so many things that you have to research uh, so for now I just settle with looking at beautiful flowers if we're gonna actually plant or buy flowers I have to like research so it takes too long so I'm gonna head back home and get these books ready to go let's do it hey guys so we are now at the studio let me set the tripod is kind of low so I don't know how to do this right now I'm getting ready to start my live class all right let's do this sorry about the weird angle for the camera but I'm starting to get set up for my live class so we made it to the post office in time and got home just ate a quick lunch um yeah so I'm getting set up but I'm a little bit worried because my daughter has been having a fever for a few days now and it goes away but it comes back then she feels better and then it comes back and so I am starting to get a little worried. Um, we should definitely check with the doctor. So I don't know what to do. Um, and I think I'm going to have to take her in. I just gave her medicine. And I'm going to do the life for an hour. And see how she feels. I did COVID tests for two days in a row. And it's still negative. So I don't think it's COVID. And yeah. So anyway. So back to crafting mode i am going to start my life in two minutes and i just wanted to share with you really quick the what we're gonna be making so it's gonna be a combination of these two projects because i want to do um, like a folio album and this is an incomplete project by the way but i love this because it opens up and it just has like a little box for the folio so this is option one um or you know one idea and then the other one is doing an easter album like this one sorry about the glare um but i love this one this is a project that i did for my magazine before and it's super simple and it's a super cute it has some little pictures in there um and super super fun to make so i was thinking maybe again doing like a combination of the two and making a an easter book i'm going to be using let me show you um, this paper collection which i finally got printed uh, which is my own digital 
collection called Happy Easter. So this life is going to be combined for my Patreon and my YouTube members because it's going to be also a Patreon project using the Patreon Digitals for this month. Um, and it's just going to be super cute. So yeah, I'm going to try to make the life fast and I'll show you what we made and keep you updated on my crafty um, day for today. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to feel okay right now, but made myself some coffee and just ready to have a good time. Yeah, let's get crafty. Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop on for a second here and give you a little update. So after the live class, I was just hanging out with my kids and just making sure that my daughter was okay, gave her her medicine and then went to grab a dinner and we were just having a really relaxing time, you know, watching TV, playing bingo. <laughs> and also I have been really into crocheting. So let me show you what I have been making. So usually when I'm hanging out watching TV, I am doing a little bit of crocheting so I'm working on this cute little turtle shell and I have all the pieces ready like the little heads and I have one ready I actually made a few and I gave them away and now I'm like I'm just obsessed with making these little turtles um, I'll show you in the morning a finished one that I have and how this one is turning along um, but it is around 10 o'clock or 10 30 or something like that and I was just going to work on my blank albums I'm making these on like a batch it's like a mass making so I make like 10 of page one and 10 of page two and so on so then at the end I just put all the pieces together and um, and now I'm just gonna sit here watch a little bit of YouTube and start doing the hinges I have all of my cardstock here this is like a little table like mini setup that is super easy to just put here on the side and you know it still looks like a living room although it kind of doubles as a second crafting room and then I also have here like my white so I'm only using lightweight for this um let me show you how cute it's my little company Look at this little guy, so adorable right here, <laughs> cuddling. Um, I have here my new chipboard that I was waiting for so I can start doing some of the, you know, like the binding for these books. And I am just gonna be here working on that. each color here of my hinges and they just look so cute by the way when i'm making these i don't count how many i'm doing i just repeat the same step as i am watching a video i'm watching a tutorial <laughs> for a crochet project um and then next thing you know is you are done with all of them which is so satisfying to see this tray full of um, hinges basically so it is around midnight right now and i am just going to um, get ready for bed and i'll see you in the morning hey guys happy sunday so i am now at the studio finally after doing a million things around the house don't you just hate that the weekends you have to do so many things when you all you want to do is relax and craft but anyway so did all my chores 
Um, and now I'm going to sit here and do a little bit of crafting. We're actually going to go to the store. Um, I want to do a little bit before we go. Also, I wanted to show you the little turtles I was talking to you about yesterday. So these are the ones that I have been making. And I'm just in love with making these little turtles. Look how adorable these are. So the one that I'm making right now is going to be a pink body with a hot pink shell. Uh, so it's going to be like a little bit of a strawberry turtle. So there's a funny story about the turtles or not funny, but like very sentimental because when I was in the hospital with my mom, when she was, you know, spending a lot of days in there, I just, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and I decided to bring my yarn and my crochet and I didn't know what to make. So I started Googling things and I saw these little turtles. And so they seem easy enough to make. So I started, you know, just building <laughs> little turtles and it became a thing like it was so funny um you know my mom was just like so involved like asking me what I was doing and I was showing her and then when we saw the first one come together we were so happy <laughs> so they really bring me a lot of joy and comfort to continue making and also when like my nephews or like my cousins will come over and they have like little little kids I um I made one for each one of my nieces and nephews and now I'm making more because I'm just obsessed and I don't know if I'm going to be keeping all of these but for now I just enjoy making them and they just bring me so much joy to uh, continue to you know to craft and so anyway so that is what I have been making um, but I wanted to also share with you what we created on the live class because I didn't get to show you that I didn't come back to the craft from yesterday as always uh, so remember let me show you first the inspiration we had this box as inspiration which is a folio box and we had the mini album here oh, let me reach out behind you so the mini album that was like the easter one that i created for my magazine last year and so we combined the two and i created a larger version of that so this is an eight by eight box and of course it's not decorated as always um and then we created the mini album which i am yet to finish putting together so this is the inside of the box and again i'm using my digital collection and i went ahead and added these to the website also so that way you know whoever's not on patreon can also have access to the collection if they wanted to um but i didn't finish putting the book together because what i wanted to do before i bind everything is i want to stitch around the pages just like i did for this one so i don't know if you can see the sewing stitches there so you definitely have to do that before you do the binding and so that's what i want to do today i want to hopefully continue working on this book i'm really bad about finishing the projects that i create for my life class and those are like the easiest projects because we really did this and this in like an hour and a half for the life class so they're really fast and easy projects and super cute but then it takes me forever to finish it because there is like other things happening and other projects that i have going on and i don't know it always goes to like once i'm ready to put it together it's like time for the next life class so it's kind of like a never-ending cycle but I'm going to make it my priority today to finish that so I can do a video. And I'm also working on, as you know, the blank albums. So I'm going to go to Michael's again because we ran out of cardstock yet again, which I thought about enough, but I guess I didn't because I am making a whole lot of books. I'm also working on this mini album here. So this is a trifle or it's going to be a trifle album. And this is one of my class kids. Um, and so, yeah, so I started this this past week. So I definitely want to continue working on this book today. This is um, the Christmas Spectacular kit. I know you can really see it. There's no cover yet, but I am loving how this is coming along. This whole side is 
done and this one i'm recording so it's going a little bit slower hey guys so i am about to start sewing the pages here sorry this light is very yellow so i'm on my sewing table i guess and what i need to do first is change the thread because right now i have this color and i really want to do like black around the edges i think black will be a really nice contrast because this is so pastel let me just give you a little look here is where i have my sewing machine and yeah i'm glad that i finally was able to like clear out this space so i can you know go back to adding stitches to my pages when this was a mess it was really hard to do you know and it's so much easy when everything is clean and set up and ready to go so i don't think that i have oh i do oh my gosh i'm so lucky because i really didn't want to do this i hate doing this part everything else i'm okay with so i don't have a good setup for this side of the room so you can see what i'm doing and let me know if you want to see like a more detailed tutorial on how to stitch on your page if, if that is something that you like to do. So I'm going to start with the first page. I'm actually not going to start with the cover because I haven't done this in a while and I don't want my first page to be the mistake. So we're going to start with the second page. this turned out so i do love the black um i might i should have went a little bit farther here i don't know what happened there. but this is super cute so i'm going to continue with all the pages and then i'll show you how it looks at the end someone stole my chair by the way but that's okay <laughs> room again so i finish stitching the pages here i say back because we had to go uh, and pick up a gift for my daughter's friend whose birthday is tomorrow so we just went and did that really quick um and we were gonna pick up dinner but we actually ended up just getting door dash because yeah i feel like i'm running all over the place and at the same time just trying to relax so this was relaxing stitching all of these pages and so what i'm gonna do now is just gonna clean up the edges here and then i'm going to finish putting this book together so basically i'm just gonna glue these pages back to back 
and continue adding all the pages to the book. I also went ahead and cut the pieces or I stitched the pieces that are gonna go on the front of the box. I'm sorry the colors keep changing, but um, so that's gonna go here. And I'm not sure if I want to stitch all around the border or just the sides like I did. Um, so I'm not sure because I was thinking on putting like flowers or something over here. And so, uh, I don't know yet. So I'm going to put this aside and I'm just going to finish putting this book together and then I'll show you how it looks. Okay, you guys so i finished decorating this book i just went ahead and added some flowers on the inside as well look how pretty this turned out to be i just absolutely love this box and then of course you open it and the inside is so pretty as well and then the book will go over here just like that so it can be a really pretty spring book or you can also uh, put it on the other side if you want it to be more of like an Easter book. And that's so cute. I know Easter is gone, but, or pass, <laughs> but uh, I think it's still super, super cute. And you can print all your Easter pictures, memories, and just keep them as a beautiful spring decoration in your home. I really think that adding the stitches all around made a big difference and it did take me a long time so and so yeah i love love how this turned out i love this project so much and i definitely need to put pictures on this um and i'm gonna stop the video here because i'm just gonna go uh watch a movie with my daughter and just gonna hang out for the rest of the evening i think it's around eight o'clock and we're just gonna relax and then i am gonna be working on my blank books again so that is something that i really want to get going and get out so i'm excited to work on those and it's also super relaxing to like craft and just like watch a movie so i hope that you guys enjoy kind of coming along with me for my crafty weekend i know i didn't get to do a lot of crafting there's always something going on it's so hard to balance like mom life and house life and me time which is my crafty time uh, but i enjoy it anyway i wish i had more time for my myself yes who wouldn't <laughs> but at the same time i'm just happy and grateful that i have these busy days i know one day i'm gonna miss it so i try to make the most of it so i hope that you guys enjoy the vlog and i'll see you on the next one hey i
wish you could see yourself 